This is the Umwahia Ikadekbene Road in Abia State, notable for heavy traffic and maneuvering of vehicles in an attempt to dodge bad portions. Passengers have had to alight from vehicles whenever they approach certain areas to avoid an even worse situation. After several pleas to the federal government for intervention, work is now in progress. But the commencement of work on the road is coming with its effects. Demolition of buildings and structures. The need to ensure development on all sides necessitated this meeting of political leaders, traditional rulers and other concerned parties from three local government areas to put to rest some of the worries of those affected. No good thing that comes without destruction. Everybody should bear that in mind. The extent of destruction is what we don't know right now. You will fall back on us and start attacking the SS to have collected money and everything. We are not collecting money, we are interested in this road being done. I will assure you people that whatever good you're going to do to fix this road, I believe the hitches, it is left for us to get it out of the way for you to have a very safe landing. We are sure the contractors of our maximum cooperation, our support, we want to work in a harmonious, cordial, but very productive environment. According to the Federal Ministry of Works, a consulting firm has been engaged to evaluate the level of damage and how those affected are to be compensated accordingly. A lot of encroachment had taken place. Like uh, my sister rightly said, people had built to the edge of the road some under detention cables, which is not supposed to be. But then, the federal government had already, on this project, engaged the services of uh, uh, a consulting firm that will handle the compensation case. The Umwahia Ikadekwane Road links several states like Akwaibom, Rivers and Cross River State with Abia State. When the project is completed, economic activities in this area will definitely be impacted.